First, Maine used to have longer winters, so it's no surprise we also have a long history of making and using snowshoes. For generations, they were made out of wood. But times have changed, and as far as we can tell, there is only now one company making snowshoes out of wood. 207's Don Kerrigan went for a visit and found there is a whole lot more to this story than just walking on the snow. Snowshoes let you get up close to winter without letting it hold you captive, with an extra bounce in your step from snowshoes that are made right here. We try to make around 500 pair, maybe a little more. These are main guide snowshoes and may be the last wooden snowshoes manufactured in the state of Maine. Because they're all handmade. There's no machine here. Here is Pine Grove Lodge in Bingham. Bob Howe and his wife bought the lodge more than 25 years ago, and the snowshoe business came with it. But this is just where the final touches are added. The real work starts 50 miles away, where the wooden frames are bent to shape by these guys at the state of Maine's Mountain View Correctional Center. Bob Howe connected with the facility more than 15 years ago as a way to increase production. It's not a bad job. It's, it's, you know, it's something new, you know, something I haven't done before, and I don't mind doing it. I, I like working with my hands, you know, wood, with wood. Which has let Bob focus on guiding and running the lodge and marketing. These are made for people that make a living in the wilderness. Let them be game wardens, timber cruisers, surveyors, maple syrup people. Uh, the state police here in the state are a customer. <laughs> They also manufacture special snowshoe bindings. Edna Wiskowski, who normally spends her days keeping the lodge going, also makes and assembles all the binding parts. Back at the correctional center, everything is carefully sanded and drilled before it can leave. From here, the finished frames will be laced, made ready to go, and then sold to new owners. But this snowshoe business is more than just what it seems because the money from selling these snowshoes will be used to help veterans. I do not want to run a factory. I take care of disabled vets and policemen and firemen is where my real passion is. So Bob and his wife took that passion and formed a nonprofit yep. right, to take veterans and first responders into the outdoors, bringing them to the lodge and guiding them on trips for free. My wife told me that I was spending too much money you got to find a way to fund this not-for-profit or you're going broke. Snowshoes were the answer. Profits from Maine Guide Snowshoes now help fund their nonprofit called Pine Grove Programs. In our organization, we feel that God is the best healing tool that we have. We've over-medicated a lot of these people. And we see them all the time. And they need to get off some of that stuff that they've been given to. And we use the outside as a healing tool. Hunting and fishing are the core of it, but there are canoe trips, hiking, bird watching, and more. He says veterans and first responders come from around the country to spend time here on the edge of the big woods. And over the 25 years here, we have saved countless lives and change countless lives all over North America. You're sure of that? 100%. Edna sees them all. You think that they're so big and tough and all this, and then when they come in and then you hear their story and how they've never really done so many things, like I haven't been fishing or I haven't been hunting, and um, they just do it. They get out there and then they come back and they have the biggest smile on their face. And even the guys who bend and shape the wood know they are part of something that makes a difference. I think that's great. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Feel good to be part of that? It does just paint it forward. I really like the program. Uh, it uh, gives, gives these guys stuff to do, uh, and it's for a good cause. Snowshoes don't pay all the bills. The nonprofit still has to do other fundraisers. But the shoes are key to making all the pieces come together. What does being able to do this do for you and your wife? It's nothing that I do. God makes this happen all the time. And it just makes me feel like, Thank you. sure, I, can't, I didn't go and serve. 
this is just part of my survey. Hmm. And um, this is what you can do for them. This is what I can do for them. Not everybody has to carry a gun. Somebody's got to paint the ship. <laughs> Somebody's got to break the eggs. So this is I, this is my part. Yeah. Yeah. And you've changed lives. A lot of them. It takes a lot of work and caring people and snowshoes, of course, because snowshoes hold people up, support their weight so they can move forward. Main Guide snowshoes are sold only online, so you have to go to the website of that name to find out what they make, which also includes some snowshoe furniture. And Pine Grove Programs has its annual ice fishing derby February 25th on Wyman Lake in Bingham. It's a fundraiser for the programs that help veterans. Coming up 